Hello everybody and welcome back to Dyson Sphere program Rise of the Dark Fog. I think it is long overdue that we finally overhaul our initial science start location. But before I do that, there is one thing I want to take care of first and that is to upgrade the the mall as some of the assembly machines were actually being throttled by sheer throughput. Now, apparently not all uh, not all, uh, all things were upgraded. Yeah, there's still yellow belt for some sections which is rather unfortunate but the main one main one over here is the fact that I'm still lacking graphene. Fortunately, unfortunately, nothing I can do about that. So I guess uh, all I can say is it is what it is. I want to get rid of everything that's in um, in excess. It is a bit unfortunate that the only things that I am actually missing are uh, is uh, graphene. This should now be at least working at full speed. This should be all filled up for delivery. We are making progress, good progress with research. Hope you'll, hopefully unlocking the gravity matrix fairly soon. Mm, something's off here. A uh, good thing I caught it in time. I don't think... Uh, I don't think we had an issue because of it, but uh, yeah, something was definitely off there. Uh, let's see. You can be disassembled. I literally have no belt on me, really. I guess I will steal just a bit of yellow belt for now. Uh, let's say maybe like this. can put two more of more of these uh, I do need to get um, faster inserters as I do not have any others um, 
So this should provide more throughput for red science. Let's remove priority here. Let's get um, slightly more even distribution. Right, because we I did increase the throughput um, consumption for this one as well. And As long as the belt is not backed up. It will. It will continue to. To pile up. But let's see. Maybe we can help a bit. Yeah, I do not want to have this many of those uh, particle containers on me anyway. And okay, so this should back up and fairly soon this should start getting some graphene in here for my belts. Now, um, let's do it a different way. I think that this is... Is this north? Yes, this is north. Mm. This would be a nice place, but it's a big ocean right where I would be able to start. This doesn't start in the middle of an ocean. And, well, that's a small depot. Yes, I can start anywhere for that matter, but let's head over here. So as a reference point is right between the two thermals and right after a uh, deposit. That's north. This is moving along the equator. I sh yeah, there's the iron, there's the two thermals, and basically about here, this is the equator, so I'll use the same spacing that I've used on the other planet, and I will keep maybe this one as a buffer, maybe, yeah, put the ILS here, so... It starts from here and it's going to span four, four squares wide. I'm just trying to plan everything a bit ahead, make sure that I have enough space. So yeah, that's four, that's good. One, two, three, four. And this is right on the tropic line. Yes, it is. So let's remove this. So this is gonna be our six ILSs. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, science packs there's going to be the yellow one which we'll put somewhere else there's still a long way till the yellow one but uh, 
we're gonna have uh, five of these and then the um, the research hub and let's start with question is do I want to start here why not I think there's enough space so that's one and this is the second one and let's have a quick look so this requires this and this you are gonna output that you're gonna be requesting proliferator for now it's gonna be mark 2 I know that I don't have it yet but um, I'll take care of that I don't want to be overproducing anything just yet mm. uh, I do need to get a few more well, since I'm here, I'm running quite low on ALS's bot, I'm running very low, aka totally out of the freighters. And I have enough vessels for now, so that shouldn't be a problem. This will primarily take from a different planet. I don't think I'll take anything locally. So this is going to be remote demand for everything, local storage. Local supply, that's going to be supply. This is going to be, you know, this is going to be remote demand and local storage. That's, well, I guess it makes some sense. I would have expected the recipe to be copied as well, but um, anyway, remote demand, storage, storage, demand, red cubes, and proliferator. Um, I think I was saying something like uh, 300 in this one, 500, I th did I set the wrong cubes here? Yes, I did. And for the blue, I am going to be using a 4-4 build with two lanes out. I do wonder, I've never tried this before, but yeah, it would be extremely nice if I could actually see what's on the planet. Uh, maybe there is a research somewhere, but um, well, for now there isn't, so... We've done this build once before, we can do it again, that's not a problem. I'd have preferred not to, definitely. But it's not the end of the world. Sure, let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. Um, Merge everything back here. Do I have blue belt yet? Nice. I do want to build everything in blue belt. So, one, two, three, four. 
Really? Even if I press R, it won't... Uh... Well... I guess I'll just say whatever. This goes in here, this goes... Over here like this. And this will... Wiggle its way back around. And let's see, proliferator is gonna come out this way, and I will actually leave a bit extra room. So maybe I will. Actually get it down the middle there. Can I go in under? Okay, I think that that's good. Um, can I blueprint this? I don't. I don't think I can flip. So now the answer is no. I cannot blueprint it. Maybe I can flip, and I just don't know about it. There is one more that needs to be over here. I think that goes like that. No. That goes like that. Uh, wrong one. I was meant to put that in line with this one. And you go over here like this. I definitely want to proliferate on the final build. And let's see what's the what's the line? I think that this is the correct line. Okay, everything should be powered. This is a very simple build. I will actually... Try to copy this. Hopefully I'm copying enough. This is a 4-4 four, four with single side. Let's save it like this. Uh, no. Really, it took the... Um, we'll figure that out later. And the only thing that I want to do is, well, actually, let's get a few, a few matrix labs. Because I do think that these things are slightly wider.
Okay, so we have room for three lanes here. Mm, that's interesting. And I don't, so I need to actually share this output lane to I won't be any bigger than this for now, uh, kind of regardless of the space, but yeah, as we can see, this is oh. I can take advantage of the fact that um, we have uh, oh, they're stackable always plan to take advantage of the fact that they're stackable. But that's gonna make the, um, the splitting here a bit weird, I think. So let's see, I will split over here first. And then have a splitter. I'm trying not to overlap the belts. So. I need to move that just one tile further. This needs to move one tile further. I think that this is still good. And this is gonna go... That's gonna jump over and get here gonna be like this and this is gonna be the furthest belt out and this build is actually two belts out not just one belt out now that's gonna be an interesting one that's gonna be an interesting one because um, they are going to be unbalanced. I need to check the exact ratios of how much I can get out, but for now, Let's get this belt. Over here and Let's see, I will do things like this. And uh, over here. No, I need to start raising the belt from here. This goes like this. And like this. I do need to put in
inputs and outputs. Now, if I really need to, uh, these belts in the final builds, these belts will need to be stacked. This is a simple input. This power pulse means that everything is going to be connected. So let's give it a shot. One cannot reach all the way there and I think I have power poles like that. And this is gonna be connection to the power grid. Now, this is going to definitely kill my energy here. I will turn this down to 30, 30 kilowatts, it's still going to be quite a beating and let's set recipe let's not forget to set recipe copy paste this one that's gonna be easier so this is our new science build pretty much in line with everything else that we've built on the other planet just for science. Okay, I managed to miss a spot here. And this is already delivering, well, hydrogen we have plenty. This is going to start delivering proliferator and all the other things. That is really great. Well, uh, we need to wait until all the barges come from the other planet. But what I could do now, so if I have a quick look at, at the red build, it is both red and yellow actually is going to be pretty much similar. If I copy this, just say use now and align this properly, which is easier said than done. I think it's over here. Yes, this looks this looks better. This should be our red build. I just need to make the connections now. Let's keep let's keep the sides the same. What's happening in here? Why are you trying to oh I have proliferation, that's great. This will be energetic graphene. And you will obviously be producing red, what? Red cubes. And we actually see red cubes going along. Oh, uh, these belts are not connected. There are resources on all belts. Everything is working. We are piling up science over here. Power is the dumpster. Mm. 
how are we so this has fully delivered but uh, this one hasn't fully delivered yet mm, okay I will let this settle for a while and come back to plot down the yellow science and uh, the science research this is going to be a lot of extra power we might consider moving to deuterion fuel rods deuteron deuterion i actually do not know how to pronounce that word and well, in order to actually properly produce yellow science at scale, there is one thing that we are missing, and that is uh, titanium crystals. And that's what we're going to build next. That should be a bit of extra belt. I should be able to grab quite a lot of that type of belt. Um, let me see. I have just two ILSs left. Let's... Uh, Man, this thing looks looks so similar. Uh, I think earlier I did pick up, I was trying to pick up ILSs, but I actually picked up orbital collectors. Um, doesn't really matter right now. Plenty of assembly machines, plenty of belt. I still have some fuel. This is working, but... Uh, the speed is obviously quite low. This is slowly charging. Once this will charge, the power will get a bit closer to normal. Okay, Sirius 1 is on a pretty low orbit. 60, 61 AU, 62 AU, that's actually really great. Okay, we managed to hit the planet. I was actually trying to get off uh, to unlock the camera and go into normal view mode. Uh, there was a, a vessel that looked quite interesting. I wanted to get a bit of closer look at it, but uh, didn't get a chance to. And let's do let's do the, the next build over here, I guess. Uh, how are we doing for power over on this side? Um, not great. I would definitely categorize it as not great. One, two, three. Uh, this needs to be filled in. So one, two, three, four squares. So it's up to here. That would have been a lot of free power in this lake. I, I could have had a strategy just to harvest as much power off this planet as possible and then, then just ship it off with accumulators uh, to the other planets. But um, I think that at least for this system, the Dyson Sphere and the Ray Receivers should provide us enough free power for endgame. I'll have a think about other uh, systems as we occupy them. Uh, let's have a look at titanium crystals. So 
one at four seconds so this is going to be a long build and um, we consume one organic crystal and one titanium now if i can do the math correctly here i think we'll be able to get two lanes of organic crystal six lanes of titanium in and then we will have most likely just one lane out and I'll gonna, I'm gonna do an eight, eight uh, build lanes. So do it both ways. And that's gonna be a length of, um, that is going to be a length of, Twenty. Cool. We finally have our blue matrices that were still quite a long way from actually being able to use them and produce them, but um, I don't think we have a 2.6 blueprint. So let's get a new ILS in. This should be charging now. Can my network still handle a charging ILS? Sort of. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Whoops. I should have done that faster. Hmm. There we go. So, any crystals? I will still, I will still actually all of my space warpers to allow this to actually import organic crystals. Now, I kind of don't like this type of setup, but um, we can update this in a, in a future episode. This is remote demand for 5,000. We have some warpers. I just need to get in a few vessels and this should actually start bringing that in. Titanium, same set for remote demand. Uh, this is not good. I have just realized that this is not good. Well, I will wait for this shipment to actually complete. I don't want to lose my warpers, but I did not take into account that this is a two lane build and I was okay with sacrificing this space over here, but uh, yeah, this is a eight lane build. so. And this is a length of 20 as well. So let's take that into account. That's five. I'm going to lose a ton of power on. Mm, I only need to split two lanes, so I, this should actually be enough. Um, the settings were still copied over. I'll put the remaining lenses in here and you're going to be providing titanium crystals. Okay, this is going to be the actual ILS. We'll update this once. Um, once the delivery in the other place comes through. And the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna have like three belts and three, be uh, three belts of titanium and one for organic. 
crystals and then I said that it's just the one belt in but let's see I'll do this side first this will be proliferator and I can do this three and this one over here and this as an input and this three and this one over here and this as an uh, output sorry Let, let's go ahead with that I think that sounds like an interesting idea at least in theory I'll see how that uh, plays out Then I will need to do something like this, one over here and one over, over here. So I might want to move that uh, splitter just slightly more to the right so I can do output. Okay, I think I'm um, I'm okay with this. These are organic crystals. Wrong. These are organic crystals. That goes into here. This is the titanium. And let's set up titanium. I set that in the wrong place. Uh, this being here might pose, a, yeah, it will pose a challenge. I think I can do it like this though. One go there, one go there. So we have proliferator delivered. Um, yep, this is the correct way of storing things. So that means that this one is now um, fully completed so I can remove this build now let's take I will use one trick here to fully stack everything. I think that this will work. And this is so the speed here is more than um No, this will actually not work, unfortunately, because the speed for this one is not half. So this will actually throttle and I actually need the full belt. So never mind that. 
uh, two stacks it is. And now let's take a look at the actual recipe. Uh, this is going to be a pretty much a standard layout. I really wish I didn't remove these ones now. That's 15. Okay, I did put enough space in between. I actually thought I, uh, I might have scaled it for only for this position, but it is that position, uh, the closer one. So we're all good here. Now, this should be the same build that um, I've done countless times. Uh, that's power off, but I think power will be self-regulating. So, one, two, three, four, five, I think somewhere up to there. As as the belts merge, I will need to okay, I can can I do this? Yes, I should be able to do that. Yep, that looks good. Uh, as the belts merge, I will need to put a piler on top of them. I do not remember if this is enough to cover all of them. I think it might be. Um, let's, let's do six of these, six of these. And I'll do power poles afterwards. Coverage looks good. Okay, the only thing I need to figure out and it needs to be in this space is actually splitting. Mm, this is quite tight actually. This is quite tight, I do not like it so I will redo a bit of this. I will actually change the output lane. I need this on the other side. I think that this makes a bit more sense. And have this over here. Now I can have the sprayers like this and this one like this. This should save quite a bit of space. Way cleaner. Way cleaner. Mm. Now I could do this and this.
this should be resource delivery and those are not powered let's put a power pole over there this should actually trigger proliferation to happen now the whole build should work on one lane out so i am fairly confident that just by merging once um yeah let's talk a bit about that actually we haven't done the input lane uh, what i'm actually gonna do is take this lane out and Merge it on the side, jump it over. Something, something like this. Uh, this one is not in a good place. So if I put it here, this line will have to go around it. I need to have at least one space over here to be able to... I cannot do it like this because I won't be able to get this line out. I do need to do it like this. And... Uh, which one was the... Okay, I can go one space above like this. This can now go We've increased our mining efficiency, that's really great. And now I can do the belt like this. And like this, this is gonna stack the two items. We're gonna just merge into one belt here. I get rid of all the junk in my inventory and there we have it, titanium crystals are now working. I will do a mirror build on this other side uh, eventually. I think that having the six machines for now is gonna be more than enough. I don't have workers here, kind of regardless, so for now this will be somewhat limited. I would look at remote demanding warpers. Keep it at 100 so that we can get this working. Uh, now our build will barely be able to sustain this, but I think it's quite important to, to have this working. So now we can actually set up yellow science, make sure that this is set for remote supply as well. 
But yeah, all of that is going to be in the next episode. For now, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I will see you here next time.